I created uh, Building Leaders Through Service because of the idea that I think that the best leaders come out of service, out of serving other people and being a servant leader. This idea that not coming in and saying, I'm, I'm in charge, I'm the, the honcho, uh, I'm going to lead you all and, and I'm great and I'm awesome. And you might be, but I think you're really awesome when you put other people first. When you have their interests at heart more so than your own. And so I put Building Leaders Through Service together as a way of teaching students how to develop certain attributes and abilities, how to be a better listener, how to deal with conflict and drama in their lives and in their organizations, uh, and also though how to look at other people and see the dignity of the individual, how to recognize the importance of values, their own core values, as well as respecting other people's values. Of, of setting a, a, a GPS, a, a way of how they're going to lead their organization, how they're going to go through their academic career, how they're going to build their life, setting uh, a direction for themselves. And then ultimately, my objective with Building Leaders Through Service is I'd like students to have a lifetime commitment to serving others. No matter how that takes form, whether it's working with the kids, with the elderly, with animals, uh, serving veterans, serving the military, personnel, uh, the environment, whatever it may be, I want them to find a way that they can serve on a daily basis in a way that is special to them. Servant leadership is really what I teach because that is where I think the best leadership comes from. I tell students that the distinction really is between service, S-E-R-V-I-C-E, -E, and serving us. And it's, that's the difference. Are you about service or are you be about being served? And I tell them that if they're asking what's in it for me, they are asking the wrong question. Because that's not what it's about. It's about that idea of we're going to elevate everybody. It's not going to be about me. It's not going to be about what I want to have happen. It's not what I think is best. Uh, unless the rest of the group says, you know what, we like your ideas, we want to go with that. That's cool, but if you put that out there and you're willing to get input and feedback and ideas from other people, you can come up with a, a better solution. i got to tell you, as an advisor and as a student leader myself, I had lots of ideas and concepts, things that I couldn't put everything into to, to motion myself. So I delegated those to other people, and I always found they came up with a better way to do it than I would have. And the results were better, and it was more fun, and it was more interesting. And I also think servant leadership is a, is a more fun way to lead. Because if you're about other people, and you take that focus off of yourself, then it's really how you build a team, and you get everybody excited about it. And everybody wants to be there. That's what makes it fun. I think community service impacts on the campus community in that it gets everybody involved and working towards something usually very positive. It can be in reaction to a crisis that has happened or to a natural event or it can be uh, an ongoing type of thing like Relay for Life. It really brings the campus community together uh, with the, the focus on uh, trying to eliminate cancer and to treat cancer patients. That is a great program that brings people together. It allows students, faculty, staff, their families, and the community at large to come together for something great and positive either on campus or in the community. So it brings that campus community together where hopefully there are no egos involved. Or hopefully there is no status or no class standing that matters, but that everybody there is for a purpose. And that purpose is to serve the need that is, is, is important that day that, that they're focusing on. And so I think that community service does that in big ways and in small ways. And I encourage students and student organizations and campuses to start out with small little projects, things where you could have a table in the student center and you walk up and you make a, a little bunny, a boo-boo bunny for a child that when they get hurt they can put it on their owie 
and uh, it makes them feel better. Or to write a note to a service person overseas, a note of encouragement. And in sometimes, some cases, these little things can lead students to say, I want to do more. And so I believe little things mean a lot and that uh, with that we can get students to take on bigger things too. So it really helps bring the whole campus together and can even involve the community at large. Yeah, I have a passion for training student leaders because it is such an important time of life. And what's great about the environment on a college campus is you can try things. You can take chances, you can take risks. I'm not talking about bungee jumping off the student center, although I suppose you could do that too. But just the idea of having experiences and experimenting with uh, projects, fundraisers, organizations, uh, causes, advocacies. There's just, it's such an exciting time of life and you really learn about who you are at that time. And for me, it was really the time I developed my leadership abilities and my skills, my talents, and my whole life has been informed because of those experiences. And that's what I want to give these students too. I want them to have an experience that's more than just going to class. I want them to have an experience that is different than what they get sitting in a lecture hall. I want them to experience leadership and service in ways that they never even thought were possible and with that then take that creative juice that that fire and do something that they're really excited about and something they're passionate about I like to say uh, that the, the best thing in life is to dream dreams and pursue passions and find that which makes your life worthwhile and for me this is what makes my life worthwhile mm -hmm.